This is Invisalign, a clear liner system that helps straighten your teeth. And this <laughs> is actually somebody who homemade their own Invisalign. In today's video, we're gonna be going through this video and seeing if it actually did work and if what he did could actually make you at home Invisalign. Let's get into it. First, let's go through the short video and see exactly what he did. And then we're gonna go back and explain why or why not it works. Why did we stop doing show and tell in kindergarten? I feel like my stuff has just gotten cooler since then. You know what? Somebody stitch this and just show me what your cool thing is. Homemade Invisalign. What? I like doing stuff on my own, so I figured it out. I had a 3D scan of my teeth done. Okay. Created a custom plan for every movement of the teeth in 3D. Came out to 23 steps for the top and only 10 steps for the bottom. Then every one of these steps needed to be 3D printed. Wait a minute, I was not expecting this. Product. So I got myself a dental heat machine. How much After did this I guy spend on this? Needed. So now I have a bunch of these, and once I reach tray 23, then I'm done. First off, I got two questions. One, how did my man's learn this? And two, I feel like he might've spent more money trying to figure this out than actually buying the Invisalign. But let's go do the video piece by piece and see exactly what worked and what didn't and why this might work and why this might be completely false and fake and not work at all. Invisalign's pretty expensive. Okay. I like doing stuff on my own, so I figured it out. All right, so first thing, we got a doctor quote here for 7,100 for Invisalign and 4,000 for a little mini treatment there with some insurance. And that's actually completely true. Invisalign does cost some money and so does braces. And you know, we could get into that in a whole different story. So I understand why he wanted to make his own to save a little bit of money. I had a 3D scan of my teeth done. Created a custom plan for every movement of the teeth in 3D. He had a 3D scan made. Now one, you need almost the 30, $40,000 machine to scan your own so I think he went to a dental office and had them scan it so as far as you go you could probably get that done for a couple hundred bucks now this is an interesting part here that he had this software and he planned out this 3d stages of moving his teeth together but you see these blue things here these are called attachments so you have to have somebody put them the etching gel the different drills to get the glue off all that type of stuff so I'm assuming he didn't even put these on or else he had a friend or a dentist that would put it on and take it off which if you were paying a dentist to do that they would probably charge you a lot of money because you're doing at home dentistry and they don't like that technically for this to work you would have to put the attachments on which are little pieces of glue glue them on and have them be permanent and then have them removed after the case goes but so far it looks like he's doing everything you know pretty much in line with what you would do with real invisalign came out to 23 steps for the top and only 10 steps for the bottom. So I got myself a 3D printer. Needs to be a resin printer because filament doesn't work. So that's another thing. You need a resin printer, which is a liquid printer that prints out of it. That's what it looks like here versus a filament printer, which looks like this. And it's just little strings of plastic. That's also very expensive, especially if he, he has to get his own scanner. But yes, he is doing it correctly. He is printing out the resin. And from here, we have to thermoplastically mold each individual retainer. After I created all the models, I needed to turn this piece of plastic into that. That material is called Essex material. I mean, he probably got a cheaper version of it. It's not too expensive, maybe five, six dollars every tray. You know, if he prints out 23 times 50 math, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks to print out all the trays yourself and all the work, the lab work, all that type of stuff. So I got myself a dental heat machine. It is a cheaper version, but it does work just as fine. And I heat formed all the trays on top. Once the trays are formed, you cut out all the excess material and you're left with this. So now I have a bunch of these, and once I reach tray 23, then I'm done. Now that's where things go on a little ride. One, if he does not have the attachments, he's never gonna get to tray 23 and have it look like he wants to. Those different attachments are meant to shift and pull the teeth and move them and twist them and bring them together. Now, if he doesn't have those, he's probably not gonna have a very good effect. So yes, he's gonna wear his trays through, and yes, they're probably gonna move his teeth a little bit. Attachments like this are meant to twist the teeth, and then attachments like this are meant to tip and turn the teeth. Here's the other thing. He has a very specific bite that may work with this. He's got a lot of spacing, so all we gotta do is close the spacing, okay? Now, the issue is if you close it up too much, it's gonna hit your lower teeth. He probably didn't think of that. So if you have a lot of crowding, actually the opposite. We actually have to take away tooth structure sometimes. We have to shave between your teeth using dental drills and I highly doubt anybody could actually make their own Invisalign and also drill their own teeth to the certain point millimeters we use little gauges everything else like that it would be very very tough and very very expensive so with his bite he does kind of ache into the point that he could get away with doing a little bit of this without having to worry about taking away tooth structure and stuff so overall he did a crazy good job he spent probably a lot of money he used a lot of good technology and he worked through the process of Invisalign pretty well he got pretty lucky that his his bite just happened to fit all of this and it might work a little bit but not very good because of the attachments and everything else like that that he's missing for everybody else well you're out of luck and unfortunately you got to pay for it i hope that helps 
Bye.